Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, y'all, it's cold. There was frost in the north parts of the state. So I'm wearing a sweater, freezing my butt off. But today we gotta finish this. I want I want this done today. And I think I am going to keep the hardware. It is very wide hardware. <laughs> I do not like the look of two poles. I know people have suggested, why don't you just use two drawer pulls? I don't like that look. On a single drawer. I just don't. So, that's a me thing. I own it. I don't like it. I don't do it. You do it. I don't care. I still won't like it. <laughs> I'm not judging you, though. Um, yeah, it still stinks. I was... It's not as bad today in here. I was kind of hoping that, you know, every as it dried, it would all taper off and it wouldn't be as strong. It's it's still, yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty strong. So, nothing for it. I've got all the detail work on this side, but this column detail work goes all the way to the floor. And then with that side to do... And then the drawers have all the little nooks and crannies that still need to be finished off. Because there's little bits and bobs here and there that didn't get filled. But otherwise, the flat surfaces, flat surfaces, two coats and they're done. <clears throat> Not feeling it today. So I had I had a smoothie today. I had my fruit smoothie today. Try and give myself a little fortification because I'm not... Uh, my joints hurt. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but like, I feel like Hashimoto's or lupus or whatever the hell I've got now. I don't know. I can't decide. I gotta go to Mayo. Um, whatever I've got going on is, is not happy today. Let's put it that way. Um, so the rash that comes every year from the sun is back and it just, it's bad bad so um, I don't feel like doing it I feel like I'm moving through mud today and I'm just gonna just gonna keep going because there's just I can sit on the couch and cry or I could do this I'd rather do this hmm. moving through but I'm going to listen to my audiobook while I do. God bless Audible, because I don't know what I would do without them. So I decided I would put some white wax in the details. Hang on, so you can see the difference. Just to highlight the details on this, because I think it looks pretty against that when you have the extra. I mean, the details are there. It's just at a distance kind of looks like a blob of metal and then you put the white in there you can kind of see the detail so i'm just taking white wax and this is just folk art home decor wax and a brush not a special waxing brush just an art brush and then just putting it all in the detail And then I'm taking a damp cloth and wiping away from the high spots so that it just sits in the low areas. I like it. If I get too much in a low area, I just like I did, I just hit it with the brush. Pretty. I'm not big on the ornate details. I don't have furniture like this in my house but I can see where the appeal is and it's like you want to highlight that highlight all the little scrolly work so that's what I'm doing on this 
I think I'm done painting. Seems like when it dries, little white spots appear, little holiday spots appear. And then once it's dry to the touch, I'm gonna take it outside and um, hit it with some clear. Inside the drawers, inside the back of it, so like inside the cavity here, to just kind of try and seal that the smell. The cigarette smell, it's it's fainter, but it's still there. And I just want to make sure I do my due diligence. So I'm gonna clean it out of these spots. Ta-da! You can see on the half and half. The difference it makes. So I think I'm going to do that. Not I think I'm going to do it. I am doing that. I watched the news a little bit this morning and it said that it's going to be cold all week and then oh we're going to go up into the 90s and humid. Really miserable. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, I think it's done and I'm going to take the drawers out to clear coat inside, put those on the porch and then in a little bit, I had to take some painkillers for my back. I'll take the base part out in a little bit because I just, my back is like, no, you're not doing anything today. You're not doing any lifting. So I can do the drawers right now, and then after the painkillers kick in in about 20 minutes or so, we'll get that base part out. But I realized that I have, like, all these spray clears, like the Rust-Oleum 2X clear, where I just have a little bit left in the can. They're perfect for this. Perfect for this. Because then, you know, it doesn't matter if it's semi-gloss or gloss, or I'm just going to grab the, the half-used cans and use them up. I never like to use the spray clear half used cans on a project like a tabletop or anything like that because when they get to the end they start to spit. <laughs> well I don't care if it spits in here, you know, like inside the drawer or whatever. It's fine. That's fine. Okay. I uh finished spraying it outside. You can see it's not in here anymore. And I clean all my brushes. And now I'm just waiting. And when I took it outside, you could see little places where, like little holidays. So I took a little pan, put some paint in it, and watered it down really good to hopefully get it in to the details. So this this piece has like a wood texture. It's it's like it wasn't cleared and filled all the crevices, like the wood goes down in, very texturized. And that makes it hard to cover, really hard to cover. <laughs> the columns on the side are like a plastic and the plastic has a lot of texture. So even though I can kind of fill the stuff on the top easier because it is just wood on the top. So it only goes so far. It's like the, the plastic has extra deep holes and crevices in it. So it's just been chasing one little white spot at a time with an art brush and, and watered down paint to try and get into the spot where it, where it was. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm just tired now. So, um, Uncle Emil's dresser gets to come in now, I guess, or that piano bench that I picked up. I want to, I have a footstool out there that I picked up. Do you remember? I don't know if I showed you guys. $5 little footstool. Had the metal legs, but it had like this really dark um, striped green and maroon fabric. Very 90s. And I picked up that floral fabric not too long ago. And I thought, oh, what's going to do that? I want to do a quick cover on that. I think I'm gonna go do that if I can if I can get some energy out. 
I, I don't know where I'm going to find the reserves on this one. I'm going to find it, though. Because I'm just... I'm worn out. I'm tired. And I have a lot of work ahead of me. It's cool enough where I should be in the garage. Like pulling things together for picket and I'm not doing it. It's too tired. I feel like I need a nap. So if this video cuts off right here and I never come back, you know, I went and took it now. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.